Hello, in this session I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to install QGIS on Ubuntu release 20.04 LTS. We start by opening the web browser on QGIS.org and on this page you find that the latest QGIS is 3.16 Hanover. There are two buttons here. The first one is download now and you see that there are two versions. Version 3.16.1 which is the latest release and version 3.10.12 which is a long term release. And on the other side you have a a button that le will let you donate to GIS to support their effort which is something that I would highly encourage you if you can do that. So we are going to go for download now and the web browser is smart enough to understand that you are running Linux and it takes you to the different distros uh, of Linux and of course since we are running Ubuntu we are going here. And these are the steps that are needed to install QGIS. First uh, the first step is basically to uh, add some uh, tools. So I'm going to copy the first step uh, and then I'm going to call the a terminal window and let me make it a bit bigger and paste the code So uh, the first step is just uh, putting the, uh, the, the tools that you need in the background. Uh, and then the second step, we need to install the signing key. So. Okay, and we also need to change mode. And the third step, uh, which is to add the repository. Now, there are two things that I need to highlight here. Uh, let me just make it bigger. Um, now, this is the repository that captures the latest release uh, of QGIS. Now, in case you wanted to install the long-term release, you would have to substitute this with long-term release here so you would substitute it by this one but I don't want to do that uh, the other thing that I need to explain to you is that lsb underscore release uh, minus c minus s will grab the the, the current uh, release of your Ubuntu so um, in my case the 20.04 LTS is focal so it's going to grab the name focal and sub substitute this part with focal. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to take it as it is. And run it in the terminal window. So uh, the speed at which uh, the system is going to be working here is really dependent on your internet connection and as well as the strength of your workstation. And then you need to update to reflect what you have just, you have just added uh, the GIS repository. Let's just do something before I update. Let me take you to uh, look at the sources list. Uh, sudo nano etc apt sources list. Now, if you scroll down all the way down, uh, yeah, here. So, the previous code added this repository, and as you see, the name Focal, which is the name of the current release of Ubuntu, and here, this is the, the repository where it's going to get uh, the software for you. So, I'm going to actually control X. 
now we need to sudo apt update we need to update the system so this is going to take uh, one minute or two yeah, okay it's fast uh, now the last step is going to be to actually install uh, QGIS so I'm going to copy the code and paste it now uh, it it's not only installing QGIS but also grass explicitly so it's saying that uh, uh, this is a 665 megabytes that are going to be installed so I'm going to say yes and I'm going to pause the recording here so that you don't waste your time installation is almost finished so uh, it took about five minutes on my workstation uh, which is running a uh, Xeon um, Intel processor uh, at and 32 giga RAM with an NVIDIA 1060 3 gigabyte okay so when this progress bar finishes we should have QGIS uh, installed with grass now I have actually added uh, QGIS before to the sidebar so once it's added it's going to show in the sidebar direct okay so this means no problem let's see so I'm going to start it so QGIS 316 Hanover and looks fine the only thing uh, of course you can see that grass has been added but Saga is not added so I'm going to exit QGIS and then sudo apt install Saga this one does not take as much time as QGIS so um, at the end of this you should have a, a full version of QGIS the whole thing should, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes on your machine okay we're fine now let's fire it up again and voila you have all the tools the games that saga provide so uh, thank you for watching this video and hopefully um, very soon you will have many more videos discussing um, how to master QGIS and GIS in general as well as remote sensing. Thank you very much and see you, see you next time.